Hey everybody, how's it going? So, this is an update on a kit that I brought out for the finish in February. Didn't start working on this one. I was working on the Ghostbuster one, got that done, and then I never got to another one. Um, so, this one I've been working on it for a few days now. It's been going quite well. I did have the body in the purple pond on both of them. And the one that's black was black before, but it had some bad imperfections. It had some body lines that I never sanded out, so I ended up stripping it. Sanding it out really good, repainting it black, adding that silver, painting all the accessories red. And uh, the other one, the yellow one, that one was like an army green, but it wasn't flat, it was gloss, and it had the same thing. It had some panel lines and some parts that just was not good. I should have did a lot better uh, with, the, uh, with the paint job. These were actually pretty early on of me getting back in the hobby. So I had a while there where I wasn't doing very good at doing them, not spending the time and getting the detail in it. And these were one of them. Kind of started and went through an odd um, odd process or odd way of building it. Uh, something I don't do anymore. I go through a certain step process and these weren't done that way so I think I kind of did myself in a corner got somewhere where there was problems and I couldn't get out and fix them now I did drill the holes for the spark plugs so this one here the only thing I have to do is maybe I don't think I get to them anymore but drill out the tips of the exhaust pipes I might just paint those black and put a uh, wire it put some spark plugs in there there is no room for me to do a coil so I'm just going to do spark plugs that's going to add enough detail to this kit this kit really don't have any details or any so adding wires to it is going to make it look a lot better um, one thing I did not like about this kit is that decal there now back when I first started this I would not have been able to cut that uh, decal without making a mess but yeah you had a I ended up using poster tack to hold the grill and the hood together the way it's supposed to because the body was not into a spot where I could do that at and then I laid it down let it cure and used a scalpel and cut that uh, on that line and then I finished laying the, the decal down so that one is that one's pretty much done I just had to add the wires to it this one I still have quite a bit to do yet so the engines not glued in the radiator still needs painted this piece is still off but uh, I just glued on all the, the red pieces I think it turned out pretty cool with that silver. The funny thing is, is I painted it black, didn't look at the decals, then look at the decals and go, well, you ain't gonna see half of the, the details. Like you, it's gonna look awful where the dice were, and you're not gonna see the lucky. And uh, so I was like, well, what the hell color am I gonna paint it again? Because I wanted it black and red. And I thought it looked really cool doing that side in silver and this back. So the back you wanna there would have been a lot you wouldn't have seen. You wouldn't have seen the dice, the Lucky 77 written. You wouldn't have been able to see them very well. So then I just thought, well, I'll do that silver on that. And it actually turned out pretty cool. So some mistakes actually turn out just right. So there is no washing done on this yet. Uh, like I said, the engine's not glued in. It's just chilling in there those pieces are just sitting there and it, this actually pulled out the radiator so I think just to get it done quickly I'm going to mask off the, the radiator part and then paint all that flat black that way I can just do it real quick get it dry get it in there and then the motor is not glued in 
And it also has the wire holes for uh, wiring this engine. This engine would be pretty cool to do like linkages on that, but since this is that car, <clears throat> that linkage is uh, it, it wouldn't really make it look a whole lot better. This one, since these pipes are angled out and I can take the engine dot, I'm going to try to drill those. Even though that's like really hard, tough plastic for some reason in this kit. But uh, so far, I have three kits. I had a total four that were finished in February. I finished them one, moved on. I think I ended up getting the GTO done then of the um, clone a toy. So I did the GTO and then by the time I got back to these, February was pretty much over. They had a set in there. So I had this one, I had the Porsche, and then I had the, the Ghostbusters 1 Echo. So I had those three. And I'm working on all of them right now, trying to get them all done and uh, get some boxes off the shelf. But then I don't know where I'm going to put the kits at. <laughs> so, so let me know what you guys think. And these ain't the, the coolest kits out there. And you don't really see them very often because it is a Model King. Usually those are pretty hard to get anymore. Them tools are kind of locked up. Um, let me know what you guys think. And uh, until next time, have a good one. I'll talk to you then. Bye.